In this video, we'll see how to create a histogram in Excel. In column A, we have the answers from a range of students to how they are in years. We're going to create, first of all, the classes of the group. So we're going to have up to 20. And this is going to be, the upper limit there is 20. And then we're going to have uh, 20 to 30, 21 to 30 and the upper limit there included in it is 30, 20, uh, 31 to, to 40, the upper limit there is 40, 41 to 50, upper limit 50, and I know from having looked at the data before the maximum value is between 50 and 60, so 51 to 60, and the upper limit there is 60. So we're going to see how many students fall in under 20 and under, 30 and under, and so on. And that will give us the frequencies from which we can then draw our graph, our histogram. So let's start by working out the number of people who are students who are 20 and under. This could be done using a built-in function such as COUNTIF, but we can also use the data tab. We can use the data analysis button. And under data analysis, we're going to use the histogram feature and click OK. The input range is all of the data that we have here. So just highlight all of your data. The bin range, so scrolling back up here, these, these are the bins that we've just created. So it'll, what will happen if we put the output range, uh, say the output range we'll put over here, and what it will do is it will create the analysis that we want. So let's click OK and what it's done here is it's taken and told us that there are 55 students who have a age of 20 and under, 15 students who are between 21 and 30, 4 between 40, 31 and 40, 7 between 41 and 50 and one student who is between 51 and 60. So if I take these frequencies and just paste them down here and I take the classes, the labels that I'm going to use, um, and now I have my data ready to graph. So highlighting the data, I can go to insert column chart, and I can insert a column chart, and this is my basic chart here. And for a histogram, although I'm using a bar chart here, for a histogram we have to essentially have no gaps between the different uh, bars here and we can only use this if we have equal widths in our classes which we kind of we have assuming that the first one is kind of 10 to 20. If I choose from the chart layouts up here and scroll down you'll see that there's one that looks like a histogram and that effectively shows us our histogram. We can edit the title, give it a histogram of student ages, label our axis here age in years and label the axis over here with, I'll just delete the label as is and replace it with frequency. And now we have a histogram, a basic histogram showing student ages.